Good morning, you guys. It is 2.30 in the morning. I'll prove it to you. It's 2.30 in the morning and we are showered and ready to go. Today we have an exciting video for you. We are going with Nick Popoff with Peel the Real and uh, I will leave a link for his website in the description box below in case you like what you see today and you wanna go hang out with him on the river for the day. Um, so we are super excited. We've been looking forward to this day for months. Um, we've been with Nick several times and it's always been a blast and a really good time. Um, so we're hoping to have the same today and maybe get some fish, who knows? Um, so stay tuned for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and please leave a comment uh, down below to tell us what you guys want to see from us in the future. We love to know uh, what content you guys are looking for. A lot of our crabbing videos are popular. So what, what do you guys want to see? We want to know. Stay real close to the edge. Okay. Come this way. This way. Down with your tip. Down with your tip. Good job. Okay, now lift tall. Nope. One more. Mm. Come on. Down to one more time. Stay real close to the edge. Come okay. this way. Put your rod tip down. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Yep. One more. Coming? Yeah, you got it. He wasn't coming out. Hey guys, we got it. We got our first one. Show us how it's done. Real, real. I get like 10 on him and then he gets 20. <laughs> sure How's it feel, Trevor? Good, man. You getting anywhere? Going, I'm going naked up here. <laughs> Wow. 
wild. Trevor's on his second fish. First one was a native. This one, hopefully, is a hatchery. Let's get it. Let's go, that's another one. Trevor, let's go! That's a stud. You're good, you're good. That's a stud, too. Yeah, that's good. You took a... I don't care, dude. <laughs> he doesn't carry Celebrate, baby. That's a stud. Hey, boy. Nice. Yo, nice. Yo. Uh, that's go. a dandy, too. Wow, that one was way easier than the last one. Yeah, it was like 10 times bigger. Yeah. The that difference is this one's not a native, and that yeah, other that one native was. Yeah, like rocky. <laughs> See, look at that. That's why you let him eat it. It's buried. Nice. Yeah, baby. Yeah, son. Woo! Andy, so nice. Awesome, Beautiful spring tonight. Let's get back. Go, ahead, really give it a test. Go, boys. Let's go. <laughs> yes, sir. All bent up. Yeah, baby. They tied on. Yep. Swimming at you? Yeah. He's right at the tip. You're at the tip. Rod tip this way. Always jumping. I don't like it. Okay, go tall now. Stay tall on him. Stay tall on him. Okay, lift him to me. Wow. You're going to reel down one more time and get him. Okay, lift tall. Yep, rod tip out that way. How'd that feel? That felt great, guys. <laughs> Let's go. First fish of the day. That's what I'm talking freaking about. Go. Let's freaking go. Uh, yeah. Oh, about time, baby. <laughs> Talked to 36 boats wow. and I've checked 18 fish so far. That's including you guys. And that's wild for everything, right? Uh, I have three released fish that have been re reported. Then vacuum seal it and then when you pull it out to cook it, you pull it out, thaw it, you 
take one gallon of cold water, one cup non-iodized sea salt, and then you soak it for 12 minutes. Oh my God. And then you pull it out and you just pat it dry and then season and cook it. It's the craziest. So have you ever cooked a piece of salmon and all that white stuff comes up to through the meat? Like kind of yeah. looks like fat. fat. Yeah. yeah. It's not fat. It's it's actually an enzyme in the fish. And you notice in a restaurant you've never seen that white stuff on a yeah. piece of salmon. Right. It's because yeah. they soak their fish in salt water and it kills that enzyme. And so you it, not only does it do that, but it removes all the blood and the slime like flavor from the fish. And so it's just it tastes different. Like mm -hmm. it's crazy. It's, it, it is literally you'll never eat it without it again. Is there a reason she picked that one to pick the head from? Yeah, because it, it was a so that was a hatchery fish and it's what they do. Since they're all hatchery fish, when they're in the hatchery they put what's called a code wire tag up in their snout. It's just a little tiny wire that they implant in their head when they're tiny babies. Mm -hmm. And then when they come in, she takes that wand and rubs it over their head and if it beeps, it has a code wire tag in it. And then they take that code wire tag from that fish and that code wire tag will tell them if it, what hatchery it's from, where it was brewed at, like there's, you know, it's brewed year, it's blue brewed class. So if it was a fish from 2019, mm. would mean it's a, you know, okay, well this fish has been, in, it's a four year old fish, mm. you know, a three salt fish. And it, they just tell you what hatchery it's from, all that, so. It's, it's just really important data for them to, you know, get back on the fish. Um, but that's how they do it. But uh, it was a beautiful day out here and we had a great time with Nick. He did an awesome job getting us into those fish and giving us a good time. No, oh, guys, it was a really successful day. We're blessed to have these fish and we thank Popoff for this opportunity. Thank you guys. We appreciate you guys. Yeah.